What's up guys and welcome back to The Nurse Nook. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Today's video, we're gonna be chatting about study tips, how to manage your time effectively, how to be organized, and just some of the tips and tricks I learned along the way of being a nursing student, a college student, and just a student in general because honestly, you never stop learning as a nurse and so I am forever a student. Before I get into the video, I just wanted to take a second to recognize the Black Lives Matter movement. Let you guys know that if you guys want to be educated on the subject, if you want to help or just want to learn more, I will leave links down below on how you guys can do your part, help, and just support the movement. So just a little bit of background on me if you guys are new to the channel. My name is Alexis Nicole. I'm a registered nurse currently working in a pediatric emergency room slash trauma center. I graduated nursing school about two and a half years ago now and if y'all are not familiar with nursing school it is definitely one of the most rigorous programs out there it's very fast paced it's very dense there's a lot to learn and so during this time I picked up some really great study habits um, mainly because I had no other choice it was either be a great student or don't become a nurse and so I had no choice but to really work hard and learn what works best for me when it comes to studying. So one of the first things I'm gonna talk about is time management. Plan your time. This is one of the most effective ways on how to make the most out of your study time. It's very, very easy to get overwhelmed, especially if you're the kind of last minute studier where you kind of push everything off to the end and then you realize you have a test next week and you have 50 chapters to go over. Plan ahead of time. Even if you cram, plan out your study time because this is going to reduce that overwhelming feeling and having that overwhelming feeling stresses you out and just makes you not want to study at all and be focused because you are looking at this whole big picture of everything you have to go over and you feel like you're never going to get to everything and it just discourages you rather than motivates you sometimes that works for people but especially when you're in the healthcare industry you want to learn for a lifetime not just studying for a test so by studying when you're stressed out and you're you know pressed for time you really just learn things for the time being and not for the long run and so when you really sit there dive into the information and really digest it that's when it stays in your memory for life so speaking of having information stay in your memory another great tip that i can give you guys is to find a study aid something that is going to help information stick to you whether that's video whether that's um, audio something that is going to have this information resonate you that's more than just reading a textbook one of the really cool things that I have recently discovered which I wish I would have known about in nursing school because it probably would have made my life 5,000 times more easier even though I didn't know about this when I was in school I wish I had but I partnered with them so that I can give you guys this information and bring this to you so hopefully it can help somebody that's in the process right now so I partnered with Picmonic which is an amazing amazing resource for healthcare professionals it's not only for nursing students but it's also for um, pharmacists um, pre-med PAs um, oh my god I know I'm missing some occupational therapist there's a bunch of different resources there for a bunch of different healthcare professions. And so basically what this is, it's literally just a study tool to help you excel in your courses. So basically what Picmonic is, is it delivers information, study material in a very unique way that I have not seen done before. And again, like I said, I wish I had this when I was in nursing school because this is definitely the type of learner I am. They deliver the information in story and in video and in audio and with cartoon images. So they make the information very exciting to learn and it keeps you interested. So for example, say, say they'll take um, the subject of beta blockers. You'll watch a video about a story about cartoon images and that is the kind of learning technique that makes the information stick. Because when you're taking a test, it's hard to remember textbook information and you know picture, oh my God, like what did line three say? When you learn things in study form, and you have visuals, pictures, colors to attach to that, it makes the information so much easier to recall. And the information stays in your mind a lot longer. So a lot of the students that have used Pygmonic to learn and study their material have reported 
higher test scores and higher retention when it comes to remembering information again which is crucial in the medical field because this is one of those things where you know you can learn to, or sorry it's not one of those things where you can learn something take the test and then forget about it you need to learn these things for life you need to have this information in your head always and so that is why i am so like adamant on using something like this that's going to make that information stick and solidify in your head and not only does pigmonic offer just studying for courses like pharmacology um pediatrics a bunch of every anything you can think of honestly is on there but they also offer NCLEX prep and that is another thing that was huge to me because i wanted to give you guys more resources i get a lot of questions about what i use for NCLEX what you can use to study Honestly, there are tons and tons of different things that you can use and I love that a service like the Pigmonic that offers, you know, the visual stories also has prep for NCLEX, which again would have made my life so much easier. I will say that even though I'm not currently, you know, studying for any exams, any degrees or any courses, I do still study just to keep myself on my toes and Pigmonic has really helped me with that because I'm able to, you know, for example, take asthma asthma attacks i work with pediatrics so this is something that we see very frequently i can watch a video on that and i understood it so much better than i ever have reading a textbook in nursing school because i'm able to visualize it i can see it i can recall it when i see it at work i think back to the video and like oh okay this is how it works this is how you know your lungs look this is how your lungs sound kind of thing so if you guys would like to try pigmonic out for yourself to see if this kind of study technique works for you i will leave a link down below and also if you use my link um, down below you guys will get 20 percent off so definitely check it out and let me know what you guys think and if you have any other tips on what you used or how you study better and what works for you definitely i'm open to listening and hearing and sharing down below so going back to using your time wisely, another tip I have for you guys is to cut out distractions. This is super, super important because you do not need a crazy amount of time to study as long as you're using that time effectively. If you give yourself three hours to study, but an hour and a half of that, you're checking your phone, you're on social media, you're playing games, you are not using that time effectively at all. What could have been done in an hour and a half is now dragged out to three hours because you are not focused, you are distracted, and you are not on the ball. And this is only natural. I do the same thing. I get distracted, I get unfocused if I do not force myself to be focused. And so I do this by one, not even having my phone in my room because that is the biggest distraction. If you keep your phone out of sight, locked away, give yourself a time to not check your phone tell yourself listen for the next hour and a half i will not even look at my phone and just stick to studying you will get a lot more out of your study time now i say cut out distractions but also i'm huge on taking breaks during your study time it's proven that your brain cannot pay attention to one thing for longer than i think it's 15 minutes at a time so take a little break if every 20 30 minutes you know just take five minutes to maybe just stare at the wall i don't know google something stretch just something that's gonna you know take your mind off of what you're doing for a second re-energize you get the blood flowing and then go back you don't want to overwhelm yourself and you don't want to tire your mind out this next tip kind of relates back to what i said before about not overwhelming yourself and that is do a little bit each day you eliminate a lot of your stress by breaking up your work and so by doing a little bit of studying each day you're setting yourself up for success because you are eliminating your stress and not only that, if you are constantly reminding yourself about the information, you are a lot more likely to remember it on a test and remember it long term because you're constantly feeding yourself in. Rather than cramming in a day or two, you are extending that time that you're learning the information and it is getting repeated over to you over and over again, which is going to make that information stick in that head. Another important tip is having a designated study area. Whether you go to a library, go to a coffee shop, study in your home, have a space where you can be focused and 
most importantly have it be clutter free and organized i cannot tell you how much of a difference it makes just to have a space that is clutter free clean and free of mess it just makes you a lot more motivated it makes you a lot more focused and it makes you want to do work so wherever it is just make sure you have a dedicated space that will inspire you to do some work another great tip i have for you guys is to explain your concepts to someone else whenever you're learning something it really helps to say it out loud that helps a lot with memorization but it also helps you fill in the gaps of the information you don't know because once you're explaining it sometimes you get to a point where it's like oh wait i don't really know that or i need to look that up more and you don't even realize that until you're saying it out loud or trying to explain the concept to someone that is naive about it not only can you explain things to them but you can also have them quiz you back which is another great tip and the last tip i'm going to give you guys is to have a routine like i said before do a little bit each day even if you dedicate you know 30 minutes in the morning you wake up you have your 30 minutes dedicated to studying you go about your day at nighttime. you have a two hour study window whatever it is having a routine makes it a lot easier to get it done because you know what's coming next you know you have to do it it's something that happens every day and it's just a lot easier to stick to when it's something that happens religiously in your life i hope you guys learned a little something from that video let me know down below what your favorite tip was and if you guys have any tips for other students or for me or just anything in general that you think would be helpful to the community. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.